welcome back to this week's studio vlog. As you've seen, we were doing something a little bit different this week. We were trying out the shrink film. We have four mushrooms where their colours came out great, really good. Some of them not so much. The first lot I did, I lightened them too much, so they came out really dull coloured, but the lines were grey. Not really what I was going for. But we've got them. I'm still waiting for some Mod Podge to come through. I'm looking forward to using that because I've never used that before. Olivia is supposed to be doing some bits and pieces with this as well, so we'll try and get her in the video. She also created the cutest sticker I've ever seen and she did it all herself except from the white background that I helped her with but we'll try and fit that in and show you that in a little while but first we're gonna go ahead and do some dream catchers because I've got them ready to go in the oven so let's go get that done Okay, so here we have the dream catchers. 
which I think looks super cute. The detail's great, the color is great. I've got quite a few of them, so we'll see how it goes. Might possibly do a slightly bigger one in the future. Excuse that noise, that's the cricket going crazy. But yeah, went really well. I'm happy with that. And we'll, uh, we'll get on to the next part. Okay, so we're back. Now I use this Dimensional Magic Mod Podge. And Olivia, because it's, it's turned out like this, it's supposed to be like crystal clear. And Olivia said, well, mom, maybe you used a bit too much on it. So I think I'm gonna do another test and see if it's possibly because I used too much. I also stupidly shook the bottle you know, you normally get bottles of things and you just give it a shake because you normally, well, that's what you normally do, but it says, do not shake, <laughs> causes bubbles. So, I'm gonna try this again. I'm not sure if it looks slightly yellow as well, so I'm not sure if that's maybe the green, the ink coming out in it. Apart from that, you know, if it dried clear with no bubbles, it works really well. So we'll see. Let's do another test and check it out. So there is the three new tests. We gotta leave them for 24 hours. So we will come back tomorrow. Okay, so it is 24 hours later. I have tested this dimensional Mod Podge and I'm not impressed. So I thought I would get this instead of resin because I know with some resins you need to wear a mask and this, that and the next thing. So I bought this but I'm really not impressed. So here's the first one that we did. Now, it's not even see-through. You can't see that, that's rubbish. And then the second one, so I thought, maybe I did something wrong. Olivia said, maybe you put too much on, so I did less, and no. It's still, still not showing up clear. It says it's supposed to be crystal clear, but it's not. It's very foggy and cloudy looking. So, Mod Podge was a bust. Won't be using it again. I don't even think I would use it for anything, really. Don't know what you would use it for, because it's not clear. So, after all that, waiting around for the Mod Podge, we're not gonna be using that. So I guess there's just gonna have to be another video at some point with resin in it. Never used resin, so uh, it's gonna be a journey. So we'll just have to see how it goes. So that is it for this week, guys. It was a little bit of a bust, but the mushrooms did turn out and they look pretty good. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe because it's the best way you can keep us motivated in making more free content on YouTube. So thanks guys, and we'll see you next time.